Welcome to your reading, Aquarius. Enjoy. All right, Aquarius. So I've shuffled this deck for you. I'm going to ask to see the current situation. For Aquarius, please. Show me the current situation in two, please. And one more. Show me the current situation, please. Okay, so it's right here. Oh my. Could definitely be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Libra or another Aquarius. Could be dealing with anyone, but these are the energies coming up here. Okie dokie. So I'm not sure if these are two different people, but they're definitely two different energies. Um, there's an idea here of someone who is very logical. They could be making some kind of a powerful decision. This could be a, related to a legal decision. Now over here, we've got more of a creative energy. I mean, this could be, if it's the same person, could be a, a bachelor who's very logical or somebody. See, I don't do reversals, so I, I am going to clarify this. Um, because in the reversed energy, this could be uh, someone who is being manipulative, trying to trying to rule by manipulation, but we're just going to, could have to do with man, trying to manipulate a legal decision. What is the magician and the king of swords, please? Okay, we've got someone being very wary. This could be you being wary and holding back. Why is somebody being wary? Uh, because there's a this there could be a worry, a lack of trust here, whether or not somebody is truly um, devoted or uh, worry about what somebody is working on or worry that somebody could be lying about what they do for work. Let's just keep going. Show me a little bit more. Show me more about the current situation. What in the name of God is this? Could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Virgo, or a Gemini here. This could be something regarding an actual death or a major change in ending. Um, clarify. Whoa. All right, someone may have lost a job here. There's been some kind of a change. Somebody may have suddenly ghosted. Somebody may have suddenly disappeared. Or somebody may have become sick and passed away, literally. There's been some kind of a loss here. It could be a loss of a job or some money. There's been some kind of an ending that involved loss or some kind of a major change. Show me a little bit more, please. Yeah. Somebody may have canceled a trip or somebody may have had a car accident. Somebody may be controlling somebody else by depriving them of money. If you've lost a job, there could be some manipulation. There may have been some manipulation over loss of employment here. Um, clarify the Five of Pentacles, please. It's Taurus and Cancer energy there. Yet there's been some kind of a lie. Some, the truth has not been told. Um, so if somebody has not shown up or canceled a trip or damaged a car 
or there, I mean, there's somebody is lying about loss. They could be lying about a child as well. Somebody is making up a whopper of a story here. Um, and it could be to control something. Who's making up a whopper or who has made up a whopper of a story? Somebody very manipulative. Somebody very manipulative. Okay, so the magician is somebody who... Show me how is the magician feeling about Aquarius? How is the magician feeling? Oh... This could be somebody trying to gang up on you or something. How is the magician feeling? There's this bloody king of wands. The magician is wary. Why is the magician wary? <laughs> yeah, because of you and your ability to support yourself and to... Uh, to nurture ideas and to be productive. Okay, so show me a little bit more. Yeah, somebody is trying to get control. Somebody is trying to somebody is trying to control you. Show me how this person is feeling about Aquarius. Ah, uh, okay, they're hurt for some reason. This person is hurt. Why is show me what happened here? Why is this person hurt? They've lost control somehow. Oh. Okay, so either this is someone that you used to be married to, or this person maybe they feel that you don't think that they're marriage material, or maybe you got rid of them because they wouldn't commit or they were already committed. What does this person, could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra, what does this person know that they did wrong? Or they could be upset because you're married. What do they know that they did wrong? They tried really hard. Okay. So for many of you, this is somebody who insisted on keeping you as a side piece and they wouldn't commit. They may have already been committed to something or someone else. This could be somebody that you were involved with for three to ten years. This is someone very stubborn. Um, show me how this person is feeling. Show me more about how this person is feeling. About Aquarius, yeah, oh, look at their feelings. So, uh, they're deeply in love with you, but they're not acting like it. They want to be committed to you, but they're not. They're certainly not doing that. They could be manipulating you through, uh, trying to manipulate emotionally here. <laughs> Sorry, hang on. Yeah, this is somebody who likes to look like they have a lot of suitors chasing them. They may like to be chased. Show me how they're feeling. Yeah, there's... There's something they're keeping a secret here. What they're not telling you is that they're feeling very intimidated. Um, why are they feeling intimidated? You could be very intuitive. Because of something that you <laughs> because of something that you've said. What communication? Um, you may have said something like you're, you've been loyal and stable. You want a commitment. They could be very scared. This could have made them scared. There's something that you said. You're very honest and true. Yeah. So the way that they're feeling about you is that you're out of their league. Um, they feel that you're very honest, loyal, true, stable, trustworthy. What is it that Aquarius, maybe you've said you want a commitment. What is it that Aquarius has communicated here? It's something that may, well, that you're wary of them, perhaps. What did Aquarius communicate? Yeah, that you're, um, perhaps you communicated that you're confused. 
and you're not certain ab about what you want or that or you've predicted something or seen something no i think what they're i think what's happened here is because this is kind of a what i'm getting the idea here is somebody saw something that they couldn't normally it's not possible to see so i think you are very intuitive you might have thrown something out or made a wild guess at something that you were you were correct and this has shocked this person because this is a psychic and this is somebody who is a little bit shocked they're like how did how did how did they figure that out how are they feeling about you yeah they're angry so I think you're dealing with somebody who is used to being in total control. This person deals with things of this world. They deal with material things. They're, you know, sitting on this very plain throne. This is, this person has power, but it's power over physical things. You're sitting here in the high priestess seat, which is somebody who is extremely intuitive and can read people's minds, literally. This makes this person very uncomfortable, indeed. This person might even be a little bit angry. How is the emperor feeling? Could be dealing with an Aries there or a Cancer. Okay, there's three coming out. Yeah, triggered. Very triggered. So it looks like somebody has approached you the way that they normally approach everyone else, but something has sort of backfired on them and made them angry. This, they felt like they've made a wrong move here. Show me how the what? Show me how the emperor is feeling about Aquarius, please. Oh, doesn't want to tell me. Let's try that again. Show me how the emperor is feeling. How is the emperor thinking and feeling about Aquarius? Yeah, well, they misjudged you big time. So you're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles, someone who is extremely capable and stable, unshakable. They misjudged you. They misjudged you. Um, if this is someone that, that you used to be married to, this person is not over you at all. Show, they want to build things back up. How is the Emperor feeling about Aquarius? They've had some massive realization here. The lights have come on. They've had some massive realization here. How is the emperor feeling about Aquarius? That you're not like everybody else. Yeah. Oh boy. Emperor has really had a very nasty surprise here. So this person has a major problem taking responsibility for what they've done. What they do is when they've done something wrong, they blame it on everybody else. So the emperor has done something wrong themselves and now they're angry. They're taking it out on other people. They're saying, it's not my fault. It's everybody else's fault. They're angry as heck, but they're blaming anyone but themselves. They may have... Um, taken somebody else's advice on how to approach you, they made some kind of a misjudgment um, and they're blaming everyone else for it, but they should have just, you know, used their intuition. Why are they angry with everyone else but themselves? Why is the emperor angry with everybody else? Ah, okay. So I feel like somebody that they were getting advice from <laughs> gave them some bad advice because they were interested in you themselves. It could be they put, put their trust in the wrong person. They put their trust in, in there's somebody here. That's not the emperor. That's somebody else who decided to give them some wrong advice. Um, what did the person in the Six of Pentacles do? What did the person in the Six of Pentacles do? <laughs> well, it was something about you. There, this person in the Six of Pentacles is interested in you. What did they say about Aquarius? What did the person in the Six of Pentacles say about Aquarius? Ah, oh, good Lord. 
They may have tried to block something. Somebody, it's not what they said. Somebody has made something, deliberately made something difficult for you. What did the person in the Six of Pentacles do? What did they do? Oh, it could be a group of people here. What did they do? They tried to end your happiness. Uh, someone's ganged up on you here. Let's find out who these people are. If you've lost employment, it could be because people ganged up on you. The people in the Three of Cups, what did they do wrong? The people in the Three of Cups, they ended something. Yeah, they ended something for you. What is the world? People in the Three of Cups, what did they do? They were, they did something selfish. What is this selfish thing? Oh boy. Something corrupt. At the people in the, there were people very jealous of you. It looks like they just made someone else. They get, get they made somebody else wary of investing in you. They may have said that you were greedy or um, people in the Three of Cups. They confused someone. They gave someone the wrong impression. Yeah, they confused someone about you. Okay, so it may have to do with um, work in the Eight of Pentacles. They may have lied about a spouse or what someone in your family does. This is very odd. All right. Let's just go back to show me who around Aquarius is having strong feelings. Show me. Okay. Somebody uh, who lied. Okay. And there's somebody who knows the truth about a lie. And, and somebody's very angry here. Who is angry? Here in the Ace of Swords. Boy, could be several people. There's, there's been an argument over you, literally. There's been a full-blown, or there may have been several people arguing. They're arguing over something that was said. Something that was proposed. People may have been angry over some com proposed communication. Who was angry over... Someone was angry, somebody was angry over a message. So, this could have been a proposal of marriage or... There's something having to do here with the message that was supposed to go toward you. It could be about a job or it could have been about marriage or commitment. And I feel like who the person that was sending this message, the the mistake that they made is they discussed it with others before this message was sent. What happened before this message was sent? Yeah, somebody either blocked it or somebody made something difficult. Somebody blocked the message or somebody made it difficult for the message to be sent. It, 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 somebody may have said something about how. Now, there we go again. Somebody... Somebody disingenuous here gave some bad advice to whoever was supposed to. Yeah, they, they, okay, so here we go back to this decision here. Some kind of a decision was made. Um, and it was made based on very bad advice because they took advice from somebody who cheated. So look, this could be something as simple as if you've been fired, somebody lied about you. If you lost a promotion, somebody lied about you, this could be, if you were looking for a job or applied for a job, this could be a, a, someone that you relied on to give you a good reference and they gave you, they deliberately lied. It was out of jealousy. This could be coworkers who were ganging up on you. People are jealous of you here. Somebody's trying to give you a hard time. Yeah. There was, look at this major decision here that was being made about you. About you and somebody blocked it. Somebody Somebody made something very difficult. Somebody somebody made this person second guess you. Okay. 
So how does the King of Swords currently feel about Aquarius? Let's just see if we can, if this will be cleaned up. How does the King of Swords currently feel about Aquarius? They feel like that could be the person who blocked the message. They feel like they've been betrayed or they feel like they've destroyed something. They're looking. They're standing there trying to figure out what to do. What are they thinking about doing there in the Seven of Pentacles? They've realized something. What are they thinking about doing in the Seven? They may need to expose some kind of disingenuous. They may need to expose something to you. They may need to expose that somebody was being selfish. Yeah, somebody was envious and there was something, there was some kind of a corrupt decision here. Somebody manipulated you. Oh, boy. So in the beginning, when we had the King of Swords and the Magician, those were two different people. This person did something very deceitful and very corrupt. And because the King of Swords listened to this person, so there was some kind of law. Look at this. There was some kind of lover's con, some kind of major love decision. Yeah, that wasn't balanced or was... Some, somebody threw something off. Somebody had an opportunity here. So I feel like, yeah, somebody made an opportunity very difficult. Somebody tried to block an opportunity. So let's, somebody stopped an opportunity. So let's see what the King of Swords is going to do. What action is the King of Swords planning on taking, if any, toward Aquarius? So they are feeling very dejected here and disappointed. What action is the King of Swords going to be taking? They're disappointed. They're disappointed that they listen to this devil energy. They may not, yeah, they're, I feel like they're embarrassed that they, that they were tricked. They could be very angry here about some kind of message or an opportunity. What actions? I feel like this person is going to message you and offer you an opportunity again. They're going to, they, they may tell you about this, that, yeah, they're going to apologize. They're going to tell you how guilty they feel over listening to somebody who is corrupt. They're 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 gonna tell you a truth. There's some they're what they're regretting here is not seeing a truth themselves. And over here, the, the Knight of Wands is something that they did, some decision that they made that was without much thought. Yeah, there's the two of wands decision that they made and it could have been based on some kind of it was based on deception. It's based on deception. There's some kind of an opportunity that, that you didn't get because they were manipulated. They were manipulated by this magician. They made some kind of a choice. Yeah, and they now realize, they now realize the truth about you. So I feel like you are, this is all going to be resolved. This could be in love or in work. There was something, some kind of betrayal by a, a group of people. There's a group of people here who literally went out of their way to confuse somebody. Somebody now knows the truth about this. And so, somebody is now going to tell you the truth. There's going to be some opportunity that will be offered to you. It's good news that's coming in. So this could be in work or in love. Let's get some messages from this person and see if this makes any sense. So first of all, I want to go to this Oracle deck. This King of Swords person, how are they feeling right now? What's on their mind? An authentic expression and direction. They, they may have known, they may have realized that they should have just one direction and liberation. So I feel like there will be some kind of liberation. Some They know which direction to go in now. And they should have just stuck to their own thoughts. Yeah, direction and liberation. Is this person feeling right now? Yeah, that somebody was wearing a mask. Look at this. Some cheater. Somebody was wearing a mask. And I, and I feel like they are now, they are liberated from this. Whoever this cheater was, they are aware of this person that was wearing a mask, they are now aware, and I feel like they're, they're, this awareness is bringing them some kind of freedom. Okay. All right. 
Let's get a few messages from this King of Swords person. What does this King of Swords person want to say to Aquarius? This King of Swords, I'm learning the hard way that I may never have a chance with you again. Yeah. Does this King of Swords person want to say, I want you, but I'm still struggling with insecurities. They should have trusted themselves. I think the world of you. I'm planning on reaching out to you. Let's get some advice from Spirit about this King of Swords person. Advice from Spirit about the King of Swords. Does Aquarius need to know? Does Aquarius need to know? Boy, this must be something very specific. Does Aquarius need to know? Boy, usually something pops up by now. There it is right there. Okay. Your love life will transform when you learn to truly love yourself just as you are. You are perfect just the way you are. Accept this and you will be amazed by the changes it brings into your life. I feel like that's what the King of Swords needs to learn. Anyway, Aquarius, let me know if it resonated. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.